Hello my peeps, this is Baby Girl Nails. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. I'm so sorry it's been so long. I have had the flu and my mom of course is still at the hospital. Right into the video, this is an update. This is like an eight week update of these fake Apre Gel X nails. These are the BT Art Box nails. Um, that's what these are the here. I've got them out because I want to show you something. These are the Gel X uh, coffin ones that I got. Okay. Now, let me see if I can find the right size that I have here in my baggie. And then, let me get out this one here. I'm going to compare these, which I've done this in another video. I did it in the original video. But, I'm going to show you guys something, okay? The real Apre nail is real gel. It is clear, okay? And it is very, very sturdy. And it is not going to bend. See my thumb? Yeah, that just happened, like, recently. But because, do you see the growth? That's like eight weeks. But they've stayed on eight weeks you guys eight weeks and I probably could have just I can let them go but they look ridiculous so I need to change my nails anyway look at the BTR box do you see the blue tint to them okay okay now watch this do you see that that is why this is that is that's what I wanted to show you these are not as strong as the Apre. And I can bend that as hard as I was bending this one. And it's not, it's not bending at all. Okay? So that is a big difference. And I'm going to tell you guys, the reason this fell off is because it bent. It literally just bent and I just peeled it right off the nail. And... So, I'm just going to say, yes, they do work, okay? I, myself, I like long nails, but if I were you, I would go shorter with them, okay? That way, they're not going to bend as easily. I'm really, really hard on my nails, okay, guys? I really am. I work outside. I work inside. It's I do a lot with my nails, and I've actually, to be completely honest with you guys, I had to redo a couple of these nails because they bent. Just like so. They bent just like that. And it was usually like right at the top, like right here at the apex area. Okay? Right where the apex is is usually where it bends. If you slam it or if you hit it against something, it's going to bend. Or it's going to leave one of those white spots you don't want that but again they're really cheap they save you a ton of money and they look really good on the nails okay as you see here they look really good right but I think if you've shortened them a little bit I think they wouldn't break as easily is what I'm saying but I'm just giving my honest honest opinion the Apre is my favorite. I love the Apre nails. They are absolutely just one of a kind. I just love them. I want to get more. I want to get... I do have the stiletto and the coffin. I am going to be doing the stiletto next. But I just love them. And I want to do the milk bath in the stiletto nail. And I'm going to show you how to do that once we get to that video. Uh, I saw somebody else do it. Um, Nail Nails did it with acrylic. Um, uh, my friend um, Glitter Sparkle Nails, uh, Vicky, she did it. Uh, she did a gel version. Um, my friend Nails of Interest, she did the, I believe, gel version as well. But I am going to be doing it in the Stiletto Apre nails okay 
so that is just an update for you guys. I know everybody wanted an update, and I know you guys wanted me to show you if they soaked off or not. Now, these tips are plastic, so yeah, it's going to soak off. But the gel, um, the Apre nails, they soaked off perfect. I had no problems with those soaking off. I do have a video on that. I actually have a, a, a soak off video. I have an infill video. And I have a full tutorial on how to put them on video. So I have a, I think I have a, a, a Apre playlist, to be honest. I'm not exactly sure, but anyways. So, that is what happens when these bend. They start to turn white and ugly, and I actually had the tip of this one turn white the other day. So the other day, I actually bent the very tip. Do you see where it's white? I bent the tip, and that's why it's white. But they did stay on, except, like I said, for a couple of them I had to redo because they had bent completely over. But I think, like again, like I said a billion times, if you shorten them, I don't think you'll have that problem. But we are going to be soaking these off, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that's this video. To get your pure acetone, you want 100% pure acetone. I don't have a lot left, I need to go get some more. But this is what it looks like. I get it at Walmart. It's like a dollar. I'm very, oh my lord, it's like going everywhere. I'm so sorry, guys. You're gonna fill your little dish, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place, actually, actually, let me, let me back up a bit. I'm going a little fast here. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clippers. So, like with this one, I'm just going to let's see if I can get you guys in frame. I'm going to go about right here. And I'm going to nip that piece off. And actually, you can still see my natural nail. But I'm not leaving my natural nail on, guys. It's, it's too brittle. They split, they crack, they break. I don't like it. I like a fresh set. So, we're going to do this to all of my nails, like so, you can see. With the Sorowskis, I'm just taking my nippers, and you can save these if they're still good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff the shine off of this. Alright guys, we are going to get started on soaking these off. I went ahead and buffed the surface shine off my nails. But I'm going to go soak my nails and then we're going to take it off. So I'll be right back. Alright everybody. Look at those. You see, that's not the real prey. If it was, it would be clear. <laughs> Those are plastic nails. Yeah. I'm going to do it away from my butt this time because, well, some of it anyways. Last time I went right into my uh, finger cuticle. Oh, this one's just picking right up. Look at that. Look at that. The whole piece just came up. There it goes. And of course, I will be cutting my own nail down. You guys know. I always do. And I'll probably finish filing, you know, the rest of this stuff off. Because it's icky. Icky geeky. But this is the difference between a prey 
and the real thing, or yeah, the fake uh, dupe, the dupe, and the real ones. That's the difference. Right there. See that? All that plastic. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I know. I'll probably just cut the rest of that off. I'm not even worried about it. Sorry, guys. You can use your e-file to finish getting the rest of it off. I honestly hate soaking my nails in acetone. It ruins... Ugh. It just makes you feel gross. It makes your nails... It makes everything... Like, my nail... Like, acetone... It ruins my fingers. Like, I start cracking and everything. So, I don't like doing this, but I'm doing it for you guys. Just to show you. On my other hand, I probably won't do this. I'll probably just cut them off. File them off. This one's not coming off so easy. Just trying to. Actually take my finger and just get the rest of that off there. You can also take your cuticle nippers if you want. Let me back up a bit. You can also take your cuticle nippers and pull off any of that dead stuff. Any of the old stuff. Because that actually gets up under there. See how that just got up under the nail? Or under that tip? And it will actually, see? Pulls it right off. You definitely want to soak them though for a little while before you try doing this because you will, you can and will hurt your actual nail plate, okay? So don't try that at home. I'm just going to clip this down a little. And go ahead and get that off of there. But that is pretty much what you do. This one was really thick, so there's still a little bit. Oh, there it is. Just came off. Okay. All right. There we go. Ooh, my nails are gross looking. I've had these on, guys, I swear, for eight, eight weeks or more. And you guys know why. My mom and my life, I've been sick. Plus, she's in the hospital. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad idea to use the fake ones. I mean, hey, I liked them. They stay on for a long time. They work. Um, but still, it takes longer, number one, to get them off your fingers. I still got to, you know, finish that up. I got to do these, which what I'm going to do with here is I'm going to go ahead and cut everything. And then I'm just going to try to peel it off myself and after I soak it of course but that is it I hope you guys have enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it comment down below tell me what you like best have you tried the dupe have you tried the appray let me know uh, what is your favorite between the two my favorite of course is appray um, that's what we're going with next I know we have two more. We have the Apray nails and we have the uh, very thin, thin, thin uh, nail tips. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do, but I want to do the milk bath nails that everybody is doing. I think they were absolutely beautiful and I want to do them. And I've actually picked some flowers and I've got some artificial ones from companies or from Yoyogi. So I want to do that next. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that like button again. 
If you don't mind, subscribe. If you haven't, click on the notification bell so you know when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.